hello in this video i am going to show you how you can add master page in user side and admin side so first of all i am going to create new website an empty website d drive shopping website and okay yes so right now i have one blank website in this i am going to add new folder name admin and one another folder name user so now we have these two templates this is the user side template and this is the admin side template in video description uh, you can find the path of this admin template and user template so you can download the template this is the admin side template and this is the user side template so first of all we are going to implement this template inside the <coughs> user side so first of all in this template we have to consider which part is our content part so you can see this is the menu part this is the left side part this is the banner this is the some marketing product and this is something else like footer but this part is our content area part in this part we are going to implement registration we are going to implement login we are going to implement display item we are going to implement uh, view cart so everything we are going to implement in this part so first of all we have to clean this part because if we are not going to clean this part then we cannot add registration form and everything over here so i am going to clean this part so first of all i have to open this sorry not this user side template in this user side template i have to open and i need to clean this yes now it is open and i have to clean this so i am going to find this yes i get this so this is the division product so from this ul to ul i have to clean this part this is content area now i save this and i am going to check here this part is clear or not yes we can see here this part is clear now oh so this is the now important for us now i am going to close this and inside this user side i am going to do right click add new item and i am going to add master page user so user dot master and now add so you can see we have here master page now in this master page we need to delete this all file uh, sorry all line but Uh, do not delete this line this is most important line for master page so i am going to delete this all and keep this line safe now in this template user side template this is the supported file css and js folder is supported file so copy this two folder and paste inside this user so this file is here now open this file in notepad or everywhere anything 
copy this all i am going to copy this all line code copy and simply paste over here so you can see here i paste over here now i already like uh, writing like this this is the content area so in this content area we have to add <coughs> content placeholder but before that you have to find in your this page we don't need form tag anywhere so i am going to find this form and going to remove this form now again i am going to find form tag anywhere else no so right now there is no available form tag so first of all delete form tag from this uh, all file after delete that you have to add a form here inside the body form id f1 and run at server we have to add here so i already added here and now complete this form tag before slash body so i am going to find the slash body and before slash body i am going to add this slash form okay now i have to go on this part content area part in content area i have to add like this asp content placeholder id c1 and run at server okay now i am going to add one more page add new page this page name should be testing because this this page is for only testing so i am going to add here testing so page name is testing.asps now i am going to do your select master page add and we have to select our user side master page and okay yes so you can see your testing.asps and in this page you can see we are getting here content placeholder and in this content placeholder i am going to write this is for testing now set a starter page and i am going to run this testing.asps so we can see our content placeholder working proper or not our master page working proper or not it will take time to load so we just wait yes you can see here we get here our template and inside this part we are getting here this is for testing so this way we can implement master page inside this user side now we are going to show you what is this in design part in design part you can see i cannot change this i cannot change this i cannot change this i cannot change this i cannot i cannot i cannot but i can here because this is the content area part is only part in which i can change this part i cannot change because this part are derived from master page if now i want to change something because just consider i have to change this product name one in place of product name so you can see i cannot change from here but yes i can change from here i have to change here find product name so you can see here this is the product name i just change product name one and we are going to check here you can see here i get here product name one now again i am going to set your product name and yes so this way we can change in this deactivated part we can change it from master page so uh, what is the advantage of this i am going to show you just consider your uh, website is 1000 page website and after completion of website you can see that uh, maybe this spelling is incorrect and do you want to change this spelling so if you are not using master page then you have to change this spelling on 1000 page but if you are using master page then you have to change this spelling only in one page in master page so this spelling will derive in all pages and you can get your output fast because you have to change only at 
वन प्लस सो दिस इज द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ मास्टर पेज ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ वी कैन एड मास्टर पेज इन साइड दिस एडमिन फोल्डर सो इन साइड दिस आई एम गोइंग टू अगेन एड न्यू आइटम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट दिस मास्टर पेज एंड मास्टर पेज नेम शुड बी एडमिन डॉट मास्टर नाउ एड इन साइड दिस ओ अग्रेन अग्रेन एड न्यू आइटम मास्टर पेज एडमिन डॉट मास्टर एंड वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट दिस बिकॉज दिस इज द मास्टर पेज एडमिन डॉट मास्टर एड या नाव अग्रेन आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीट दिस लाइन नाव आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू एडमिन साइड टेम्पलेट in this admin side template we do not require this we have to blend this up to here we have to blend this so inside this we can add our content okay so i am going to delete this so again i have to open this template and these two files are not important for us so i delete that two file and refresh this and check everything is okay yes everything is okay now again i am going to open this not pet plus plus and we are going to check which part we want to delete this welcome john do create copy and i am going to find here yes i get here so this is the division plus row i delete this and i am going to check here yes now we are going to delete this chat data mailbox all dots okay we have to delete this all rotate center pad top select this all sorry and going to delete yes still one line is remaining new issues yes there is a new issues see users okay Yes, one mail box is remaining. Still one mail box. Now we have to check. I think this is not important for us. No. Mm. You have to find where is it, sir. So I am going to delete this. yes we can see here our part is clear this now we have to write something over here and we have to chat we get our data over here yes so this is the perfect there is no problem so now here i am going to mention this is our content area okay now i am going to close this loss and 
now again i copy this supported folder and going to paste inside this admin paste and now i am going to open the code of this index file open within notepad and in notepad from i copy this all and i am going to paste here so i am going to paste here and now i am going to find i am getting anywhere form tag or not yes right now there is no form tag available so this is good if available then i am going to delete that now i am going to write here form id f1 and then i am going to pass here run at server now again cut this and we have to complete this less form here okay now we have to find very right content area yeah this is our content area so in this content area we have to add asp content placeholder id is equal to c1 and run at is equal to server yeah so i add this now i am going to add one in the one file web form here also i am going to write your name testing select master page add from admin we have to select here admin master not user master yes this is admin templates save and now i am going to run this file set a startup page and i am going to run this it will take some time to load so we have to wait you can see here we get here admin and testing dot sps so you can see here we get here our content so i hope you understand how we will uh, implement this master page inside this project and in my next video i am going to show you how you can make login page in admin side and in my next 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 video i am going to cover everything regarding this project so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please share it maximum so every people can get benefit of this videos thank you so much for watching my video again